Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Thursday, August 2nd. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so really whenever this, re this reading resonates with you. Now, it may not even resonate because, you know, I can't reach every single person. Um, if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Um, this is just a general energy for the collective, whatever I pick up. goodness you know I just saw the four of swords now that's letting go of an old idea so I'm not sure maybe somebody has let go of an idea because swords are ideas they're thoughts could be the death of an idea could be a need to need time to take a break maybe you need a break maybe you need to take a little vacation Remember I just said death of an idea? Okay, now we have the death card. This is an ending. This is a transition. It's a time of transition. A new beginning is on the horizon. This is the ending that brings a new beginning. It's a major ending. It's time for a change. It's time to release so the new can come in. This is releasing and receiving. Oh my gosh okay so you release and you receive this that love release receive love because like I said receive release 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 receive love happiness partnership These fell out. Five. Heaven sent. Okay, so there's a there is a major transition. Somebody is finding wish fulfillment as they let go of sorrow. They stop investing in something that is dead. Stop waiting around. And then they get what they want. They get what they've been wishing for. There is. There's a beautiful new beginning here beautiful new beginning that leads to a wonderful beautiful partnership of some sort amazing a wish is being granted because somebody has given up they've given up on, on waiting around and allowing this sorrow and hurt to consume them interesting you know, when you allow yourself to heal, when you do heal, when you truly release, everything else falls into place. And that's, what this, that's what's happening here. There's a renewal, big time. We have a renewal. Somebody is going through a spiritual renewal, a rebirth, and receiving some sort of gift because they've released. Somebody has released and they're receiving a gift. It could be a gift of love. I see the reality of this. Seeing things clearly. Now, we have releasing, and then we have realizing. Releasing and realizing. Stepping outside. No longer wanting to be alone. The hermit. I'm, I'm ready to come out of my shell. I'm ready to come down from my mountain. I'm ready. I'm ready to show you my light. I've done my solitude. That's the four of swords. Okay, I've had my, my period of solitude. I've had my period of rest and, and uh, learning, perhaps. And now I realize that it's time for this transition. It's time for my new beginning. I see this as a new beginning. Let me get this focused in. A 
somebody was invested in something that wasn't solid, but now they're dropping it. I'm dropping it. This can fall away. Somebody is letting what isn't growing fall away. These are these these are falling away. It wasn't stable. It wasn't secure. Allowing the healing process to 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 really really happen. Taking their time. Somebody has taken the time to become stable again, to restabilize. And I think they're starting to begin to realize that there's other fish in the sea. There's other fish. There's other opportunities. So I feel like today is a day of transition, a big transition where the truth is being accepted. And somebody has decided to come down from this period of introspection, solitude, withdrawal, and allow. And because they put themselves out there, they decide they're ready for this new beginning. It's like comes right in. Somebody is, is having a renewal in love. And this renewal is new okay it's new because with endings bring new beginnings but this is after somebody lets go because these are falling away these are falling away i realize that this opportunity that i was holding on to doesn't serve me so i'm letting it go it's dropping away i've waited for a long time for this to grow it hasn't grown I haven't manifested it. It hasn't been able to manifest, and it's going away. It's being practical. It's passing the test. Somebody is passing the test and letting the healing you know, happen. There's, there's a lot of healing here. Here with the Five of Cups, the very last card, this is somebody's, you know that has been consumed with the hurt for quite some time but it's it appears that you know there's there's some there's some help it appears that you are being helped to realize to realize that there's other opportunities to realize the truth to get outside of your head to step outside of fantasy land to and to accept This hurt that you have been going through, this time, this, this sadness, it really has brought in you enlightenment. It has. There's still light. So I feel like today or yesterday or whenever this resonates for you, a wish is being granted because somebody has decided to allow a new beginning to allow a fresh start to allow a start over now I don't see anybody from the past here I don't usually with the death card we have something brand new okay because with death it's it's dead it's dead it's dead something's dead so something new can begin it's a blessing you are, be re you are receiving a blessing after something has ended. Let's get some more cards here. Now, this Hermit Reverse, somebody's been going through a midlife crisis, not wanting to let go. Not wanting to let go of what they knew, what was secure, what they had invested so much time and energy in. Somebody had went through a period of that. But with the hermit in reverse, it's like I'm coming out of it. I'm coming out of it. I've done my time. Letting go of sorrow. Letting go of hurt. Realizing that the options are endless. There's been a lot of worry, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of guilt, a lot of depression. But I believe that's being let go. It is. Letting go of that mentality. 
It's the end of difficulty, coming out of the darkness. Somebody is coming out of this darkness, this period of, of worry and holding on. That's what I see. I think that somebody has made the decision to let go. And, you know, I didn't do the reading yesterday, which was uh, funny. You know, I didn't want to get the same message. I started to do it, and then I, I had to run. I had, a, I had a call that I had to leave, and I could have done it when I got home, but I thought about it because I said, you know what? I want to see what's going to change in a day. And you know how the energies are so strong at this time. People are changing minute by minute by minute by minute. Decisions are being made <laughs> constantly. Things are changing at a very fast pace, put it that way. Somebody is still deciding, you know, what to do. But somebody has made the decision to come out of this darkness and drop this this whatever it is that they've been trying to manifest this is not being able to manifest you can't make this happen which we already talked about two days ago somebody is seeing the light and allowing this time of sorrow to dissipate even further with a little help from above Somebody is coming out of the darkness. And because they are allowing it, there could be a, a new beginning, a new partnership, a new soulmate. This is love. The Two of Cups is love. Or a union. Or a partnership that comes about after you release. You release and you receive a partnership, a union. But you can't hurt yourself. You can't put yourself last. You have to you have to make the right judgment call. You have to be firm in your decision to move on. For those of you that are not firm on your decision, you're still in decision mode, then this this 2 of cups is probably, you know, delayed. But for those of you that are no longer trying to escape reality, because this is reverse, this is no longer escaping reality. This is escaping reality. There's a new beginning. For those of you that are accepting the reality of whatever the situation is, there's a beautiful new partnership on the horizon. So anyway, the King of Swords reversed is, you know, somebody that's only harm. that's unfair treatment. It's abusive. Whether it's self-abuse or abuse from another person, it's when you let go of an abusive situation. You know how many forms of abuse there are in this world? Mental abuse, verbal abuse, emotional abuse, physical abuse. I mean, the list goes on. I don't have my book out right now, but... Letting go of an abusive situation so that you can find love. Somebody has done that. Somebody has made that choice. And because they have, the love is coming. It is. The Hierophant reversed is lack of faith. Lack of believing in oneself. Not listening to your inner guide. And it's right here next to this. Coming out of the darkness. Somebody wasn't listening to their inner guide. They were only hurting themselves, causing themselves self stress, guilt, and health issues, whatever. You know, by, you know, this is a victim mentality in the upright. By letting themselves be a victim to whatever this circumstance was, they, they decide to no longer hold on, let it go. And then that new opportunity of love comes in. So there is, there could be a message that you have received that is very welcome and it could lead to a to a partnership okay i think there could be a message for those of you that have truly let go with this page of cups it's someone that it's been kind of cupid does this this guy is connected to cupid okay this is like cupid or it's like someone from above bringing you together as they've seen that you have made the right choice Cupid is bringing you an opportunity for love because you have let go of whatever it was that didn't serve you. 
Seriously, letting that other opportunity that you couldn't have go. Dropping it. Goodbye. You drop it, you get this new opportunity. And it's not a reconciliation with someone. It's not. It's not a reconciliation with whoever you've been holding on to, in case you thought it was. It's not. It's not. It's not a reconciliation for those of you that are still trying to escape the reality. It's not. It's, you know, for those of you that are still holding on, there's an opportunity, a new opportunity, a new two of cups waiting for you. There's no reconciliation. This is a no reconciliation. There's not. Whatever you're concentrated on. You have a new opportunity waiting for you. But you have to look at You have to turn around. You have to look at it. You have to realize it. You have to accept the truth. Maybe you need to let your friends help you to realize the truth. Maybe somebody needs counseling to help them realize the truth. Somebody has been in denial, you know, and those people are still patent, still need to pass the test. But whatever, I'm not going to go into that. There's a new opportunity for love for those of you that have decided to let go of the opportunity that had no growth, had no stability, had no security. You could be receiving a message today, yesterday, tomorrow, this week. I think this is probably yesterday, today, tomorrow, the next within the three day period, okay, from today. I feel like there's a message that is coming in that could lead to a soulmate connection. It could lead to love. It could lead to partnership. It could lead to a wonderful new beginning it's like a gift from above okay it's a wish fulfillment it's what you've been wishing for congratulations let's get a couple of angel romance cards the healing is allowing a new beginning Somebody has allowed themselves to heal, to let go of sorrow. This is letting go of sorrow. There's definitely love coming in. There's messages of love. I know there is. I'm positive. There's a new connection. <laughs> there is. There's a new connection. Ooh. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. They are. They are. I think there's a new romantic connection in which you can't, can't really deny. I'm going to get one of these as well. You have Scorpio, Pisces, all the signs are here. I don't really like to say the signs, but they're all here, so it really doesn't matter. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There, I think I've said them all. If I haven't, I should have. The heart of the matter. And this what this is actually absolutely about. The heart of the ma matter. The heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. There is more going on than meets the eye. There is. I feel as though there is a new beginning here in love for those of you that have decided to open your heart to it. Now this is not a reconciliation. This is somebody new. And that's what I see. Talk to you later.